Hey guys, Thief here once again. Uh, I got another video for you. This wonderful, what is it? It's Friday. It's Friday. Drinks up. Welcome to the weekend. Um, so I recently got a couple of questions uh, about ammo. And I figured I could cover that to the best of my knowledge with what I got in the cabinet and the safe and everything. So what what are you supposed to use when you go to the range like what's the difference between subsonic and supersonic and home defense loads and all that stuff like what are you using well it kind of depends on what weapon system i'm using as well so if i'm taking the scorpion out scorpion will eat these little steel casing nine millimeter these are made from uh, i believe these are wolf or tula one of the two same company actually they're owned by the same company but yeah Scorpion can eat this steel casing crap all day long. Now, will the MPX eat it? Yeah, probably, but I don't wanna run that through my MPX. Uh, just good quality weapon, you wanna shoot good quality rounds through it. Um, not saying that these are crappy, but they are definitely cheaper than the other stuff. All right, so what are some brands and what are, some, what are, what are the differences? So if I'm going plinking, you got S and B here. These are just standard 115 grain, nine millimeter brass coated. They look like this one right here. Nothing special, brass case though, brass tip, I believe. I don't know, I'm not perfect on my metal knowledge here, but these things will shoot through anything all day long. I usually buy these by the case or I go with Magtech. Uh, Another good quality manufacturer. These are also 115 grain uh, supers. So we'll get into that in a second, the difference between super and subs. But these all day long, buy them by the case, no issues. Uh, so here's a Remington. This one's a Remington, it's a little bit older. As you can see the oxida oxidation on the tip of it compared to like that, uh, different a little bit different design, but basically the same thing. All right, then you go into your defense rounds. So this is where it gets tricky. There are lots and lots of different types of defense rounds. If uh, I was to recommend somebody some defense, I would go with Hornady. All right, Hornady makes a fantastic bullet. Uh, so does Fiocchi. Um, a lot of them out there do. Remington probably has them, Winchester has them, but Hornady, are known for their defense rounds. Uh, for instance, this one, Critical Duty, this is what the FBI and all the Fed boys use. It's a good stopping round. Uh, so this is a 45 caliber, this one, but it's a little bit easier to see. So brass casing, and that's the tip of it. So it is a hollow point. It's got their F flex lock or whatever it is called in right here that little rubber tip thingy but basically underneath it it looks like that it's just a hollow point all right once again this is a 45 uh it's just easier to see than this guy so same thing same bullet just different caliber so you have your critical duty and you have your critical defense so what's the differences uh for one critical duty is 135 grain while your critical defense is 115 grain uh Critical duty is also a larger round, so it's optimized, this this uh, critical duty, it's optimized for a full-size handgun. So not like your concealed carry or your compacts or your subcompacts. Um, it is meant for a full-size handgun, kind of like this one. So we'll take out two here. So this is a Canik SFX Rival. Uh, Actually, I haven't even shot this one. This is Amber's handgun. Um, but look at the barrel length compared to my Shadow, right? Not much different, but it's enough that you'll feel the difference between these loads. Uh, let's just set this aside. However, Hornady also makes critical defense, all right? So once again, this is the 115 grain uh, 9mm and it looks like that like we already showed uh only i mean they both look similar but this is a larger bullet the duty 
and this is a smaller bullet, the critical defense. Critical defense, optimized for your concealed carry, your little tiny pistols that you tuck in your waist or in your back pocket or something like that. These are gonna run that handgun smooth every single time. Never had any issues with Hornady. All right, going into supers and subs. So the next three that I pulled out, these are all subsonic rounds. Um, so this is Range Dynamics made by Fiocchi. Fiocchi, Fiocchi, great company. Um, these are 158 grain. Uh, and they shoot at 850 feet per second. So if we're gonna compare those to, let's do the s &B over here. These are supers. These have a muzzle velocity of, let's see if it even says it on this box somewhere. It does not. Does Magtech? Magtech does, there we go. Or do they? They do not. All right, well. These do, so your home defense rounds, not perfect comparison because these are gonna be a little bit hotter for a load, but. So these Fiocchi subs, 850 feet per second, subsonic, while these critical defense ones are 1135 feet per second. So faster bullet, supersonic, you're gonna have that snap, even through a uh, suppressor, you're gonna have that snap, while these do not. Uh, subsonic, you're just gonna have your pop a pop, no, not really a snap. It's kind of hard to explain it just talking about it, but quieter, not so quiet. So Fiocchi, definitely go through them if you can find them. These are a little pricey. These are 35 bucks when I bought them for 50. Not too bad. Uh, Remington, this is a 147 grain, so not as hot of a load. Um, and it's also a little bit faster, so 990 feet per second. So you're gonna have a little bit more noise with this. These are super quiet. Then you got Federal here. These are 147 grain as well. Um, let's see. Muzzle velocity 1,000. So these are gonna be a little bit louder than these ones. Um, Federal makes good rounds. Uh, not my favorite. Not, I prefer to stick with Fiocchi, Hornady, um, Remington, if I can find them for subsonic rounds. But that's basically your difference between them. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and throw them in the comments. Uh, we can talk about different calibers too. Uh, my main caliber is nine millimeters, so I figured I'd just do that. Uh, I shoot that the most. Most of my guns are nine millimeter. Um, but yeah, that's the differences between su super subs, uh, home defense rounds, plinking rounds, and hollow points. So once again, if you have any questions, go ahead and throw them in the comment box. I'd be more than happy to answer them or even do a whole video on your question. All right, have a good day. Happy Friday.